Hi guys! So, I wanted to talk about 3D, 4D, 5D consciousness um, because I received a strong message that a lot of us are currently in 4D. So, first of all, I'm going to explain my intuitive messages about 3D. <clears throat> so, 3D has a lot to do with our physical environment and what we see. Um, and what meets the eye is the only thing most people in 3D are aware of. So it's <clears throat> things like our jobs, our incomes, finances, our car, our profession, our t things as titles as well, which is nothing you can see obviously, but it's part of the 3D matrix. Um, our profession, our status, our titles, our money, our income, the job we are doing and we are really in 3d we are really focused on the physical uh, we're focused on safety and security we believe we need a certain amount of money certain amount of income to survive or certain certain material things to be um, validated uh, worthy seen by other people to to belong it's a lot of things are about outer appearance as well so um, maybe things like brands maybe things like and there's nothing wrong with any of that right maybe things like um, needing to look a certain way to feel like we belong feel like we are safe feel like we are safe in our relationships as well feel like we are worthy of love as well so that is basically all 3d it has a lot to do with ego and and fear-based um energies and and um it's very limiting because we can only we only see um what's actually there physically right and we attach our identity to the things we can see so in 4D, oh, let's talk about 5D first. So 5D is basically becoming aware of uh, energetic realms, um, becoming aware of um, energy and and um, and um, things like law of attraction by um, by adjusting my energy, becoming aware of illusions of the 3d so understanding that people are not how they look people are not um, their job people are not their roles in society people are not their material belongings um, you maybe start realizing that a housekeeper is as worthy as a doctor or a hollywood star is as worthy as a um, someone who works in a coffee shop you know and then we become more aware of ourselves our own consciousness our um of the bigger picture it's not only about me it's not we understand that we belong <clears throat> we understand that everything's connected we understand more and more um our um our work we are doing is much less about the physical much less about my nine to five job but a lot about the inner work a lot about integration healing reflecting on things um, becoming aware of um, things like toxic energy things like healing energy things like boundaries we become aware of um, setting energetic boundaries is for example much more important than communicating these boundaries right um and in 3d when we think of boundaries we would rather communicate them but just as an example um but if we only communicate boundaries without adjusting our energy to, to, to the feeling of <clears throat> Being worthy, feeling worthy, feeling whole, feeling complete, feeling enough, feeling um, worthy of being treated right. Then if we only 
communicate boundaries in a verbal manner, it might not be enough. So in 5D, we could, be, for example, become aware of setting energetic boundaries. Um, we become aware of... Um, we are much more awake, basically. We become aware of how we've been treating people poorly out of trauma in our past, how um, our childhood wounds have affected our relationships, how we are still healing these childhood wounds, how we are um, creating inner peace by so much more than just basically having our material needs met and there's nothing wrong with that because we need things like food and we mostly need things like money to buy certain things and we need a place to sleep but we maybe become aware of <clears throat> that we actually need much less uh, so we might feel like decluttering becoming minimalistic oriented focusing on more important things like our inner growth our inner healing our inner work our um, education um, and how we treat others and how it always comes back to us and how we can set something into um, um, say something to the universe, make a wish to the universe and it actually shows up because we lose our attachment in 5D. Not always, obviously, but like a lot of things um, can show up when you send that wish into the universe and then you detach because you know you will be fine either way. You're trusting God, you're trusting source, you're trusting universe, you're trusting yourself, you're trusting your higher self and you know you will um, be whole and guided and protected. Um, and 4D is basically the bridge from 3D to 5D. So 4D is already being aware of 5D and being aware of 3D. We are moving on that bridge towards the 5D consciousness. So we are aware of um, all of these um, um, we basically become aware of um, that we might need less uh, to, to, to live an abundant life and we become aware of um, how we were in 3D. We're still not in 5D but we're not in 3D uh, anymore and it's basically in 5D we are envisioning, uh, in 4D we are envisioning 5D and we are envisioning uh, the future um, life or like we also become aware of the future is the present it's always the now moment there is no future everything is multi-dimensional and everything is happening right here and right now in 5D we're going to attract much faster because these we basically healed everything that is holding us back from 5D, from moving there. So in 4D, we started healing the childhood trauma, the blockages, the limiting beliefs and patterns, everything that holds us back from attracting what we want, what we um, feel like gives us the abundant life of co-creating with others, of um, feeling peaceful within, we're not stressed at work, we don't feel like we, we um, don't belong or we feel like we have to hustle or we feel like we have to work really hard to be enough and be worthy of other people's love and of money and we basically understand for example to work smarter and not harder to, um, to put things out <coughs> to create with the universe and then sit back to receive um, but we also understand that our happiness is not depending on all these things right so 4d is the bridge to 5d where we are aware of both dimensions um, 
and we are envisioning 5D, we are dreaming of 5D, we might have prophetic dreams, we might have um, dreams of the past and the future, um, of childhood and teenager years and years where um, just like past, past times, maybe even past lives, we become aware of um, we also become aware of the 5D dimension where we want to move to and we are basically balancing out um, the life between these two worlds. You know, we understand that we are still going to work to have an income to pay rent. This is still a fact, but we might be able to um, live differently in 5D because we are fully working with spirit. We are fully working with the universe. We're fully trusting that if we align our gifts, talents, passions and abilities with uh, our life, then the universe will provide for us and it might happen in surprising ways. And 4D is basically letting go of the ego, letting go of fear-based um, programming um, and moving towards that 5D that feels very abundant and feels like we have all our needs met and we are still aware of the 3D and we're still aware of needing certain material things. We're still not aliens, but we need much, maybe we are aliens, but like we still need certain things. Um, but we work much more with our higher self than in 3D. Um, and then in 4D. So the 4D consciousness is basically the bridge between 3D and 5D. And um, we're currently moving towards, a lot of us are moving towards 5D. Of course, there are a lot of people in 3D, like many. Um, but as the world is waking up, as the world is ascending, um, we will experience much more people in 5D um, and in 4D. And of course, there's there are higher dimensions than 5D. There's also 7D and I think uh, much higher <laughs> timelines or much higher consciousnesses. Um, I hope that was helpful. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Um, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.